Uh, if anyone was wondering what was going on in that circle, we were saying a prayer, you know, and um, we just praying over over the country, praying over things that's going on, and uh, you know, we try to do it as respectfully as possible, and um, you know, we respect everything that you know that happened, you know, with uh, you know people in the military, things like that. We respect all of that. We just felt that you know it was the right time for us to do that, you know, say a prayer. We got to unite in some way. Um, you know, it's, it's it's too much hate in the world, um, and you know, we just wanted to. You know, come together as men. You know, we're all high quality men who are taught, you know, stand up for what you believe in. You know, everyone has different methods. Um, this was our method, you know, we're not, you know, trying to disrespect the flag or, you know, be a distraction to the team. But, you know, as men, you know, we have the right to stand up for what we believe in and, I, and we demonstrated that. I wanted to support my African American teammates today who uh, wanted to take a knee. Um, we wanted to draw attention uh, to the fact that there's uh, things in this country that still need to change. You know, that's the, the big key, you know, um, is what two minutes are in the national anthem uh, as a protest, but you'd like to see the results in our day-to-day -day lives of people just getting along, just not, not even being friends, but just cordial getting along and just a high. Uh, being in Nashville in the South for the past eight years, I've kind of gotten used to Southern ways, and I've enjoyed that being here in Cleveland where you walk down the street and somebody just says hi to you because they're walking passing and I think uh, that's where we want to get to just people loving one another just because we're all human beings thank you thank you